this lecture is going to be very much beneficial for you because I am going to address an important question regarding trapezoidal footings in which I will discuss why do we prefer trapezoidal footings over pad footings and at the end I am going to show you how to calculate the quantity of concrete in a trapezoidal footing. Trapezoidal footings are preferred over pad footings. The reason being that they are economical in comparison to pad footings since they require less concrete and reinforcement. Also in regions with cold climates and freezing temperatures, if the water retained on the surface of the footing freezes, it can cause additional pressure and cracks in the foundation, which is called as freezing and thawing effect, which occurs when the concrete is saturated with water and the drop in temperature leads to the freezing of water molecules and since the frozen water expands up to 9% to its original volume, which causes distress to the concrete. Hence, we provide sloped surfaces to avoid the accumulation of water over the footing. The trapezoidal footings are also called as sloped footings. A sloped footing consists of four trapezoidal sides, which are inclined at 45 degrees from all the sides. These are constructed with great care in order to maintain a proper slope. Now coming to the second question, that is how to calculate the quantity of concrete in a trapezoidal footing. For illustration, let's consider a trapezoidal footing with the given dimensions in which we need to calculate the volume of concrete. If you clearly visualize from this picture, a trapezoidal footing is made with the combination of a cuboid and a truncated solid. So to calculate the volume of footing, we need to calculate the volume of each solid separately. That is, volume of footing will be equal to volume of truncated solid plus volume of cuboid. Volume of truncated solid is calculated by using the formula h by 3 into a1 plus a2 plus under root a1 a2. While h is the height of this truncated portion which is given as 0.35 meter. A1 is the area of top portion of this truncated solid or the area of cross section of the column which is to be costed over this footing. This area is given as 0.3 into 0.3 which will be equal to 0.09 meter square. A2 is the area of base of this truncated portion whose area is equal to 1 meter square. On substituting these values, volume of truncated solid will be equal to 0.162 meter cube. Now, we need to calculate the volume of cuboid, which is given by the formula L into B into H. While L is the length of footing, which is 1 meter, width is also equal to 1 meter, and H is the height of this cuboid, which is given as 300 mm or 0.3 meter. On substituting these values, volume of cuboid will be equal to 0.3 meter cube. Finally, volume of footing will be equal to volume of truncated solid which is already calculated as 0.162 plus volume of cuboid which is calculated as 0.3 and the total will be 0.462 meter cube. So this was all about this lecture. If you like my content, please subscribe my channel and don't forget to press the bell icon so that you don't miss any updates in future. Thank you.